The equipment in this room tracks every movement you make, and the startup using it says it costs over a million dollars. So what happens when you try to shrink this tech down into an affordable device? It's like a pair of shorts, uh, a computer, and an octopus had a child. Demetrius has come a long way since that first prototype, and today he's trying to create some of the most nimble wearable tech on the market. Melina often exercises outdoors at this Greek university, but her leggings are collecting data as if she's running in here, a professional-grade biomechanics lab that can measure and analyze practically every muscle movement in real time. Labs like this are not meant for regular people. They're meant for universities or to monitor multi-million euro athletes. And uh, the problem is you cannot get one unless you're a super rich. But Demetrius hopes to solve this problem with his smart clothing company, Tribe Wearables. The startup makes athletic wear that measures over 100 variables, from muscle fatigue to motion, heart rate to coordination. It was back in 2013 that Demetrius first shared his idea with a biomechanics professor who now works at Tribe. His first word was that this is crazy. Really? What does this crazy young man is talking about? Nikos's skepticism was well-founded. The wearable tech that most consumers know was, and still is, dominated by smartwatches and fitness trackers, which just gather the basics. But Tribe is trying to take on these products with clothes that collect more detailed and specific data. Using at least a dozen sensors each, their stretchy, machine-washable products provide live observations to a smart device. The goal? To help amateurs create more customized workouts and assist athletes in focusing their training. For you and me, really seeing the nitty-gritty information that a uh, biomechanical engineer or data scientist would, would see doesn't make sense. So we make the information as easy to digest as possible. The team says they're working with half a dozen businesses, including a Chinese menswear manufacturer and a French startup, and they hope their first products will start selling in mid-2020. Smart clothes have been hyped up as the next big wearable tech for years, but compared to the two largest segments of the industry, smartwatches and fitness trackers, clothing like this is projected to account for just 6% of the market by 2023, according to Juniper Research. Yet, Demetrius doesn't let the odds deter him, because his quest is personal. A knee injury in college prevented him from playing basketball, and his frustration during the recovery process is what spurred this journey. For me, it's too late to do anything for this, but it's not too late to prevent something from happening to somebody else. 